we've got both the HTC U12 Plus and the Huawei P20 Pro and we wanted to see how they'd fare in a real world speed test with their internals in mind. So let's find out. First we'll boot up both the phones where the P20 Pro is just faster than the U12 Plus. When it comes to the fingerprint scanner speed, the P20 Pro once again is just slightly faster. Now we'll make sure that both of these phones are in their out of the box conditions loaded with the same profile, connected to the same Wi-Fi network and that both are running on their latest software. With that let's clear the background apps and start the stopwatch. Initially, the P20 Pro is faster off the blocks with the U12 Plus close behind. The U12 Plus though takes the lead at Google Maps where the P20 Pro struggled to load one portion of the map. This setback carries over to the Google Play Store and Google Chrome where we are loading GNTech's mobile website on both of these devices. As we approach the social media apps, it seems like the U12 Plus is ahead exactly by one application, but slowly the U12 Plus is stretching the lead to two applications. This could be because of the newer Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 octa-core chip on the U12 Plus compared to the Huawei Kirin 970 on the P20 Pro. Generally, the operation on the U12 Plus seems a lot smoother compared to the P20 Pro, which is maybe why the U12 Plus has this lead loading Tekken. Definitely the loading times help the P20 Pro catch up, but despite all of this, the first round goes to the U12 Plus, finishing at 1 minute and 26 seconds. While the U12 Plus whizzes past the first few apps of the second round, the P20 Pro is still loading Tekken, which suggests maybe lesser GPU capabilities from the processor on the P20 Pro. And with the P20 Pro finishing the games and the system applications, it manages to finish the first round at 1 minute and 55 seconds when, interestingly enough, the HTC U12 Plus has almost finished the memory management round, clocking a time of 2 minutes and 1 second for the entire speed test. The 6GB of RAM on both phones allowed them to store all applications in memory, and skipping past the P20 Pro second round, it finishes its test in 2 minutes and 26 seconds, making the winner of this one the HTC U12+. Plus. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and check out our other videos if you've missed them. Subscribe for more videos in the future and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.